everybody. This is Joel Hansen. I'm here at Blue Wolf Bistro in downtown Rochester, New York. I'm about to take on their burger challenge. I've got 45 minutes to finish. If I win, I'm going to get the $35 meal free. We'll see how it goes. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video where you are going to watch what is undoubtedly one of the funniest food challenge videos you have ever seen. Seriously, you need to watch this all the way to the end. The video is absolutely hilarious. Unfortunately though, coinciding, this is also one of the worst food challenges, my least enjoyable food challenges I have ever done. And undoubtedly, the worst burger challenge I have ever seen or attempted. Well, at least attempted. So I'll let you tune in. The Joel Hansen Show. What we are witnessing is absolutely crazy. Just did a seven pound garbage plate. It's 10.46 right now. We started around 7.15. No throwing up. This 100% man. So as Randy has mentioned, this was the second challenge of the day. In fact, this was literally, we left the one restaurant, went directly to this one. Randy was not interested in doing the challenge. He was not up for it. But I was there. I was in the area. I wanted to take it on. So this is supposed to be a five pound challenge. I think it's six burger patties with a mac and cheese patty. Then there's meat sauce on it, plus the fries, which they said it was a pound, I think it was a lot more, and the vegetables, and a milkshake. <laughs> shut up and eat. Shit. <laughs> oh, cheese. So as many of you know, I'm not a big cheese fan, and there's definitely a lot of cheese, especially that mac and cheese patty. It was not to my appetite. When you're doing a second challenge, you're already very full. Everything which you normally don't like, you dislike even more, and everything you normally would like, you like less. Everything just doesn't taste as great after you've already had a lot to eat, if that makes sense. Um, the s'mores milkshake was one of the uh, more deluxe milkshakes. You didn't have to do that, but I went with that anyway. And I asked for my burgers cooked medium rare. Jesus Christ. It's still more. Yeah. Well, you said you wanted it quick. <laughs> So as you can see, the patties did not come out medium rare. The first one, that one there, I'll pass off as super rare, like blue rare. But unfortunately, let's just say they don't get more cooked or well done as we go on. If anything, they become less cooked and less cooked as I go down the line of patties. So here I am, already full, not enjoying all the flavors for you know a couple different reasons including being very very full and here is this raw beef not even rare beef raw beef if you've ever smelt raw hamburger that is exactly what these patties were tasting like and i tell you i was having a huge difficulty even getting this food down uh, it was not palatable it was raw vegetables. Look at all that vitamin C. This is a bad idea. Oh, you're getting full? Just not good? Well, it doesn't 
doesn't look good, that's for sure. I believe under normal circumstances, this challenge would be pretty good. Again, I mean, like, if the burgers, if they were cooked, would be fine. The meat sauce, I didn't mind the taste of. The mac and cheese, I was able to get down anyway. And I mean, the vegetables are vegetables. I don't mind vegetables. So that part wasn't the issue. And I mean, the fries were, well, they were fries. Um, so the challenge itself wasn't the issue. So I'm not, like, bashing this challenge necessarily. And I'm not going to necessarily bash the restaurant. Um, this place operates as a bar at night and it was like 15 minutes until the kitchen closed or something like that however the beef was raw and oh it was yeah such strategy oh my goodness so in an attempt to really try to mask the flavors of the patties a little bit because everything tasted a lot better than those patties I uh, mixed up a flavored drink um, which I figured would help quite a bit as, you know, again, just, it wasn't even fighting flavor fatigue, it was just fighting the taste of raw beef. That does not look appetizing at all. So as I mentioned, the patties that went down the burger just kept getting rawer and rawer. And so at this point, I was like, we need to get the server. I'm going to see if they can just throw this on the grill or cook it a little more or something, because this is not good. How many more do you got? Two more? Oh, wow. Those are all rare. Wow. So we finally got a hold of the server and I just asked her like is there any way you can cook this more because it is raw. Um, not even just like rare but it is raw and she essentially said like I'll have to call and ask a manager there's no manager here I'll have to ask him what we do in regard to the time limit um, I mean in all reality they could have just threw it in a microwave for like two minutes and I would have let the time keep running like at this point I was so struggling I didn't like the taste and I didn't care at all just eat it and get sick for the yeah I would do it <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you gotta eat a raw burger. The man is eating a raw burger just for you guys' enjoyment. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel. The Joel Hansen Show. No relation to Chris Hansen. So as you saw, they did come by with a plate after the girl talked to her manager or whatever and they were going to take the patty and go cook it. But at this point, I literally only had like a patty, maybe one and a half left. I just really wanted to finish at this point. I was just in a lot of discomfort. Well, it's not even discomfort. I was just in a lot of displeasure um, with that raw burger, that raw beef. It really wasn't enjoyable. 
Again, I mean, they did offer, so I'm not uh, discrediting that at all. I, I just didn't take them up on their offer. I also want to give a huge thank you to Randy. I asked him to give me some good commentary throughout this challenge, and he definitely did fill that. Um, but had to undo my pants. I mean, at this point, we're at like 12-ish pounds of food, maybe even more. Not to mention just raw beef. That's all I need to say, I think. As my mom calls him, the hottie is almost done. So obviously this was pretty dumb for multiple reasons. Uh, not only was I eating a raw burger, but doing two bigger size challenges back to back isn't definitely the smartest thing either. And in all reality, I was really worried that I was going to get my first food challenge loss just because of both my stupidity and, well, potential unfortunate circumstances. Let's go, go. Let's go, go. Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! Let's go, Joe! You're doing good! Get it down. What is that on the plate? Burger ever? Do what? How does a patty fall off and use a skewer? That means it's juicy. Oh, I think it's cheese. It's macaroni and cheese. That's what it's doing. a half pound of fries. Oh, shit. I'm just kidding. No, they say it's a pound of fries, but I think they're lying. We'll start out quick and then swallow a little bit down. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep just watching you. And he's going to do the milkshake, too. Wow. That's the dessert. To answer your question, because I know somebody's going to ask it, oh yeah, I wasn't feeling good after this, and I definitely got sick.